Intel Core i5 14600K has been spotted with 14 cores and 5.3 GHz boost clock. Intel Core i5 14600KF is faster than the i5 13600K. Intel is reportedly planning a dual core Intel 300 desktop CPU. And lastly, ASRock has listed Radeon's RX 7800 XT and Radeon RX 7700 XT at EEC. This is Tech Track. So first day we have a Twitter leaker HXL just tweeted this and as you can see it's uh well if you look closely here Intel Core i5 14600KF has been listed here in this identifier for the CPU and it's a Raptor Lake CPU you can see the TDP also is 125 watts and the socket remains the same LGA 1700 and if you look closely into the section of P core here the boost clock we're looking at is 5297 technically speaking is a 5.3 gigahertz right so it's boosting at 5.3 gigahertz. I don't know if it's overclocked or not. Probably not because that is probably uh, the default case scenario that they're looking at. We're looking at here. So yeah, we also are looking at six times 48 kb plus eight times 32 kb, meaning that there's six cores, basically six performance cores and eight efficiency cores. That is probably the case for the uh, Core i5 14600K we're looking at here. So that's not looking that bad. That's pretty good. And yeah, that's basically the Intel Raptor Lake 14600K. The Raptor Lake refresh, I should say, because, you know, Raptor Lake is a 13600, so the refresh would be the 14600K. So that kind of makes sense that they're going for 6 plus 8 uh, variant, you know, the performance core and eight efficiency core. So not bad. And also boosting at 5.3. I don't know if that is the base clock or the boost clock. Probably is the boost clock that would be more would that would make more sense to have 5.3 boost. So yeah, interesting to see that. Next up we have some Geekbench score here looking at and as you can see is the 2794 single core score. And the multi core we're looking at is 17109 T. So what is this CPU? Like if you look into look closely here, it's a 12 or not 12, 14 cores, 20 threads. But the identifier says genuine Intel Family 6 model 183 stepping one. But according to Haruke's 5719, this is a basically the 14600K F we're looking at here, or the 4600K, whatever you want to call it. Because you know KF and K is basically the same processor without the iGPU or with the iGPU, you know? So you could you could just say it's the i5 4600K or KF, because you know he even identified that. And if you look closely here, this is the multi-thread performance we're looking at, is that 17,190, and he also provided the well, the benchmark here. So if you look into this, i9 3900K is getting 19,905, so basically close to 20,000. And the i5 4600K is getting 17,190. If you look closely, the i5 3600K is also getting 14,666. So, so in comparison, it's it's quite quite faster than in multi-core. We're looking at around 3,000. I would say 2,500-ish score gain here, basically. And if you look into the single core here, this is a single core for the i5 4600K. It's getting 2,794 and i5 3600K is getting 2,648. So not a huge in increase here, basically around 5%, 5 to 6% that I would say. It's not a huge gain, but it is a good enough gain. But in terms of multi-core, it's, really look it's looking pretty good. So basically in terms of productivity, it should provide better performance obviously but most of the times we're looking at i5 4600k as for gaming so wonder how well that will perform in terms of gaming hopefully it will perform great because it's a raptor like refresh and well yeah the performance gain won't be a huge gain right it is very much clear the performance gain is not a huge gain because it's basically a refresh skew but still it's getting closer to the r9 7950x close enough but in terms of single core there are still a lot to catch up that's for sure next up we have a interesting leak also for the raptor lake refresh and as you can see is that is a 14 gen intel 300 coming from chili dog of course that the 14 gen intel 300 that he did a quotation mark there uh processor will be out in q3 of 2023 which again is the similar time where when the raptor lake refresh will be launching you know it's going to be launching soon enough so we'll see about that but yeah this, we have also have the specs so as you can see it's a two cores four threads so there won't be any efficiency cores because obviously it's a two core processor that's 
doesn't make any sense why it would have any efficiency core anyway but if you look closely it got also got l3 cache of six megabytes and the p chord which is basically the performance core base frequency we're looking at is 3.9 gigahertz rated at 46 watts so it's a really entry level of course entry level not even entry level i would say it's just a very lower tier processor we're looking at intel 300 marketing and as you can see he also adds that intel 300 the new naming convention is a successor to pentium gold t740 7400 so yeah it's uh it's basically the better version of the pentium gold so already we know that pentium gold is no more because they have removed the naming but i guess they're just replaced it with the intel 300 and that would be the case for these processors because it's a very weak processor i wouldn't say weak it's just uh like it's a very entry level stuff i don't think even it's, it's even good for gaming and stuff maybe like office use and stuff but yeah they're, they're literally removed the pentium gold and it included the intel 300 with the spec itself looking a bit better that's all next up we have a momomo underscore us just uh tweeted this link here and when you, when you go into this link here what we find is that it says video turds of the brand as rock right and we have the models well, if you look closely, we have certain models that we haven't seen yet. And that is the RX 7800 XT SL 16 gigs. Basically, it's coming with 16 gigs. I'm guessing SL means overclocked and CL means non overclocked, but I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, it's, there's a RX 7800 XT coming with 16 gigs, both of them. The RX 7700 XT also have three variants, which is 12 gigs, all of them, which is PG, SL, and CL don't know what makes means what but we'll see soon when they're really released but it kind of confirms the leak from the moose laws that he leaked that already that the rx 7800 xt will be releasing with 16 gigs of vram versus rx 7700 xt will be releasing with 12 gigs of vram the only question still remains is that there was a leak also uh, about the RX 7700 non xt there was a leak about it so not sure if that would be releasing at the same time or that is the same thing as the rx 7700 xt don't know that i guess they haven't changed the name but i probably they will or probably they will add another card which will call the rx 7700 we don't know for sure but for now we can tell is that the 7800 xt will be coming at 16 gigs and the 7700 xt will be coming with 12 gigs of vram and that's pretty good you know because the 7700 xt or 1080p or 1440p will be perfect because the vram does the job done same goes for the rx 7800 xt 16 gigs of vram also good enough the only question is how well they will perform and the pricing that is the biggest question so we'll see about that